since the government and NPT and the Social Security Administration has not been willing to come forward with how deep this breach is. I fear it's really deep, and I fear all of us are going to see an increase in uptick in identity theft. I am very excited about today's show because I think this is a cautionary tale and everyone should know about what happened. This is going to be show 202 and Social Security data, the edge, stolen, now what happens? You know, I just hope everyone is aware that there was a major breach from a company that's called the National Public Data Company, NPD, and they got breached of about 2.9 billion records. These records included social security numbers of every American because one of the things this company does, big data on individuals, and it's actually a data collection company that actually puts together your social security and everything about you. So that if an investigator or someone wants to find out about you, they can go to National Public Data and find out information about you. So they scrape information about you and they include that with your Social Security number. So this breach is extremely important that every American know this has happened. We have to protect ourselves now because although we're going to have a lawsuit against NPD, and the lawsuit basically specifies they did not protect our data sufficiently. The problem is the data still got out into the public domain. And right now, I was waiting a few weeks to see if the government was going to actually do anything major to help the individuals that have actually been lost their data. And unfortunately, the government seems to be doing nothing. This is the incredibly frustrating part of a breach like this. The breach was so inclusive that basically NPT's data was just absolutely wholesale stolen. They're not willing, and you can tell there's been no acknowledgement of exactly what was in that data, except they said it was including social security numbers. I would suggest that there's different amounts of data and different individuals, but I would suggest that most people's social security number has been compromised. Now, if they're a data brokerage company that has other information about you, like your social media accounts, you know, anything you've done wrong in your life, and they have your social security number, now a hacker can start to put together an identity profile on you, and then with that identity profile, breach your security. So the problem with the MPT data breach is that it is a scraping company that was designed to find out everything it can about you. So you really don't want that kind of information out with your social security number. It's very easy to put all that data together and figure out how to breach an individual. And by the way, going back to the book and everything I've said over the years, please, everyone, today, if you haven't already done it, make sure that all of your passwords are different on all of your accounts. That's the first step you can do. The second step is that they should really consider getting a monitoring company especially if you've got means and especially if you've got something to lose. And I recommend Identity Guard, LifeLock, or Aura. These companies actually will tell you if anyone's prodding around or trying to collect or trying to get credit. Very important, LifeLock, which I personally use, will tell me if someone's trying to use my credit in any way. It also looks for my deed of my house. It protects me in many different ways. I really recommend that people don't just lay down on this and think, well, I'm safe because no one knows very much about me. But the only difference with LifeLock is LifeLock keeps every single piece of information encrypted. These companies have been hacked. And what's occurred was the actual financial gain to the hacker was not very, very good because although they got the actual files, the files were all encrypted and they couldn't break the encryption. So if LifeLock does its job, again, if it does its job and it does what it says it's doing, you are much more protected than NPD that had no encryption around all the data they were collecting. So ultimately, it is really, you've got to look into companies, and I would recommend that any company that is going to take your data, quiz them, find out if they're encrypting your data upon collection. That's super important. LifeLock does, and so does Aura and Identity Guard. These companies realize they're prime targets, and it would be incredibly embarrassing to their business model to be hacked. I would say to you, these are the few companies that have everything to gain by not being hacked and everything to lose by being hacked, like their whole business model. There's some plans that are like 10 bucks all the way up to $49 a month. And it depends on how much security you want. I recommend that everyone gets one of these services and they're all different. Identity Guard, LifeLock, and Aura have different pricing models. So check them all out. 
what is interesting in these pricing models is what you really want is to make sure no one's using your personal data to take out loans and to actually be doing transactions. And that is usually covered in the pretty much all the basic plans. And I really recommend that everyone gets a basic plan. Getting the more expensive plan is really optional. Depends on how much you're worried about your overall presence. For example, me, we got me protected with a more expensive plan because we want to make sure that everything's buttoned up because I've become a little bit more public. So therefore, maybe I will be, the likelihood of me getting hacked is a little bit higher. So I think people need to really pay attention to this. I'm not trying to scare people. I'm really being honest with this one fact. Since the government and NPT and the Social Security Administration has not been willing to come forward with how deep this breach is. I fear it's really deep, and I fear all of us are going to see an increase in uptick in identity theft. So please heed my warning. Please make sure you have your passwords taken care of. Make it happen today. This is just really kind of shitty because ultimately everyone loses on this kind of data breach. Some of those passwords are pretty useless. You would agree. The accounts are not important. Even if they hack you, it's not important. But there's a lot that could be devastating. So you first start with the devastating accounts, the ones that your identity and your finances are involved in. And then you move down the list to, you know, your streaming services. But seriously, everyone, this is this is one time I want you to be scared. I actually want today people to be scared. I do not want people to, to think this show is light today. This isn't light. I've spent two weeks collecting data on this show and I am really really perplexed and appalled at how little our government is willing to do. I was hoping that they would acknowledge this breach and agree to actually reissue social security numbers to every American for real. That would be something I was, that's what I've been waiting for because they know that we've been compromised. They were the ones that actually forced NPD to come forward. So what the heck government, what do we pay you for? This is one time we need your services and you do have the means to change security, social security numbers. And that would be the way to make this breach go away. <laughs> well, that rhymed. Anyway, that's my show for today. Thank you, everyone. Bye.